all you really have to do to figure out what you want, what you need for success is just be good at history. So I basically spent all my time at Wikipedia. But the point is, it, it really, actually, seriously, these lessons that you find in things that are not related to what you do are the things that will help you the most in what you do. We need to start learning from our success, not just our failure. Because if we just keep falling into success and we don't actually go back and say, why were we successful and look at those things, uh, we can't repeat that success over and over again. And so if you start attributing success to all those things, you're gonna start repeating the same mistakes and failing to actually get better. One of the things I learned this year was to really just say no. You're always looking at all these things you could do, all these awesome ideas you have, and that's excellent. But if your plate's already full and you already are doing all these things that you're passionate about, you need to make sure that, that what you're doing is what you're most passionate about, what you most care about, and that you can actually dedicate all the time, energy, and effort that those things deserve. You need to be extremely really into what you're doing. And unless you are fully obsessed with what you want to achieve in life, you might not really achieve the, 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 the platform that you want to gain sometime. People matter most. Um, we talk about people a lot in entrepreneurship, but sometimes I don't think we give them enough credit. It's nice to have people around that will keep you grounded and will keep you from living in this sort of bubble in your own world. A lot of people say, if you're gonna be an entrepreneur and you wanna be successful, uh, you shouldn't have a boyfriend or girlfriend. They're gonna take up way too much of your time and distract you. And I think that's absolute BS. Um, because if anything, Carrie makes me time. It is very important for you to have somewhat of a sidekick, somewhat of a supportive role and an ecosystem to push you. Because at the end of the day, there's still, there's still other people around you helping you go through all of this. When it comes down to it, you could be like the best person on paper. You might be a genius, you might be so talented, but some scruffy kid is gonna come along he may not hold a candle to you, but he's going to use all of his connections and he's going to kick your ass. You know, sometimes school really gets on my nerves. It gets annoying. It's very frustrating. I feel like I have a lot better things to do. But when it comes down to it, the community here and getting involved with all of the people at this school in Ann Arbor uh, is just incredible. And being a part of this school and, and honoring that experience too and realizing that there really is some value there has actually made it so that I've, I've only half dropped out.